You have to understand, in my judgment, this, vic this terror, this lynching, as directed at the entire African American community. Uh, uh, we're all uh, family members of uh, survivors of lynching, of people who were lynched. Uh, our, our, you know, regardless, the Devons have a family member who was actually lynched, but the rest of us have family members who had to flee the South, who had to be traumatized and terrorized and tormented. It has victimized all of us. And I actually think in a, in a kind of a different sort of way, the white families that brought their five-year-old to the lynching and lifted them up so they could see the black body burning, the men uh, mutilating that body, have done something destructive there. I think we've all been victimized by that legacy. You have to be outraged. You have to be discomforted. You have to be disruptive. And that's the purpose of those stories, is to reinforce uh, that this was terrorism. And so when you enter uh, the monuments, first of all, you have, to, you have to go past the slavery sculpture, because you can't understand lynching without understanding uh, slavery. When you get into the first corridor, the monuments are eye level. Uh, we want people to have a, an intimate relationship with these structures. We want you to be able to read the names and to see the counts. You can touch them. And the intimacy that's created in Corridor 1 is necessary um, uh, to appreciate what happens next. Get into Corridor 2, the monuments begin to rise. The floor slopes down. And you see this violence and terror lifted up. And for me, that was really important because when you think about lynching, you know, the people who perpetrated these acts of violence could have just buried the bodies in the ground. They could have kind of erased the evidence and uh, done even more without any threat of accountability. But the whole point of lynching was to raise up this violence. They wanted the entire African American community to see the battered, bloody bodies that they had destroyed. And by raising up the violence, what they are doing is tormenting the African American community. They are taunting the community. They are threatening. They are terrorizing. By the time you get to corridor three, they're above you. And now uh, you feel shadowed. You feel haunted. And I think we should feel shadowed and haunted by this history. It should hang over us until we address it with sufficient commitment that we can actually believe that we have turned a corner. We've done something to overcome. And the words we include in the in memorial are really intentional. We, we can overcome. We can do better. But we can't do it without confronting the legacy. So the optics of that, that monument above were important to express the relationship that people in these communities were forced to have to this kind of spectacle violence, this kind of terrorism. When I go to the Holocaust Museum in uh, Washington, and I go through that experience, at the end of it, I am motivated to say, never again. And that refrain is what you frequently hear to those who understand the horrors of the Holocaust. Uh, and it has left me questioning why we haven't created sites in America that talk about our history of racial inequality that motivate people to say, never again. I don't think we've said, never again, enough. Uh, in response to our history of slavery. We haven't said never again enough in response to the legacy of racial terror lynchings. We haven't said never again enough uh, to the era of segregation and racial apartheid. And because we haven't said it, we keep creating new institutions and new uh, structures that seem to replicate many of these challenges. I hope these institutions, our museum and our memorial, motivate a lot of people to say never again. And when they say never again, I hope they actualize that by creating a society where we can truly achieve more justice, more equality, more fairness, less bigotry, less discrimination, and free ourselves from this history uh, of racial inequality. I just think there's a better America still waiting. There's a more just America still waiting. Um, there's a kind of equality that we haven't achieved yet. There's a kind of community that we haven't achieved yet. But we can't achieve it if we're unwilling to tell the truth about our past.